Yeah, good day there, viewers. So we're out in the shed again today. Got the big 200 in here. We're doing a full EGR clean today. So I'm gonna rip all, rip the inner cooler off, rip the covers off, rip all the valley covers and stuff off to full EGR clean, see how bad it is. So 2008 model, it's, um, yeah, gonna be pretty bad. I'm so I've never actually done a 200 series before. I've done heaps of 79 series, but the 200, they're a little bit different. As you can see, Intake pipe in the 200 goes down in there because it's got twin turbos of goodness. One comes out there and the other one comes out there. See, on the 79, it just goes around and down into there onto the single turbo. So this will be interesting. Once I figure out how to get this off, because these hoses haven't been off before and they're tight, man. Tight. Bear with me. One thing we do not like is look at that. See that? That's the intake pipe, baby. Oh, yeah. These things getting a catch can for sure. As you can see, that's where your intake pipes go. And that cheeky sucker right there is your EGR valve. Well, under there, those two things there are actually your EGR valves. And right there is where they tell you to put that silly little plate in it with a hole in it. Yeah, would you put an air cleaner in with a hole in it? I don't think so. So what's the point of the silly little plate, eh? Just go and get the stupid thing remapped and blocked. Copy. So we're going to pull all this stuff off next, get them out of the way, and just start going down from there. All those plugs, wires, electrics. Oh, it's going to be fun. Not bad, thanks. I got this little cover off I was looking at it and I was thinking it's not that bad eh like hang on I'm getting the light here I'll turn my torch on so you can see no worry torch is flat like it's not that bad but then I got into the next section and we're looking at this and it's like yeah wow it's bad hey it like yeah copy I'm doing the right thing. I wasn't gonna go in there. I was just gonna like pull this off and have a quick look and, oh yeah, it'd be right, but nah, look at it. Look at it in there, it's bad. It's got it. I'm gonna pull all that off, pull all that off, pull the rails off, pull the pipes off. It's gonna be a big job, eh? Luck, strap yourself in, people. It's gonna be a big night. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. That's all going straight into the engine. All that crap. Oh, look at it there. Hang on, let's have that gasket off so we don't lose it, wreck it. Maybe we won't take it off, he's all right. But look at that, all that oily, sooty, carbony crap. See that, that's going in your engine, mate. That's not good, eh? Put an EGR on a diesel, mate. You'll be right, you won't wreck it. Just change a car or engine every bloody couple hundred thousand k's, mate. Oh, look at it. Yes, I love it, eh? Love it. Dig all that out. Oh, Lean McCurza is gonna go like a flaming thrasher machine once this is all clean, I'll tell you. Oh, look at all that. Yicky. Anyway, I'll continue cleaning this up and then I'll. Rip that next section out real quick and yeah, keep playing. All right, so I'm gonna leave that down there for now. Get back in here, keep ripping shit apart, eh? You. <laughs> Come out. Which I think I'm gonna leave that there, but all 
gotta come out, the fuel rail lines have all gotta come off. Be careful with them too, because they got like a shitload of pressure in. Plug there's gotta come off, because it gets plugged into there. Oh, that's plugged in. Oh, where's that wire going? Awkward moment. So the phone call went flat last night when I was uh, ripping it out. So I got down to this stage here where we're at. Got all the bolts, all the bolts out of it. I was trying to get away with not pulling any of the coolant lines off and just sort of slip that back section out that way. And but I don't think it's going to work. So I think I'm going to pull the coolant lines off. I didn't actually have to pull the part, the um, injector lines off. I just like slipped the rails out. So that was pretty cool. I got all that out. They're in the box down here. Yeah, copy, copy. I've got all of, I've got all of everything just about ready to go. So that's that's all loose. Actually, there's one bolt in there, I've done. But that's all loose. Phone running out of battery. So I'll throw you back on um, back on time lapse and um, we'll see if we can't get this bloody thing out. If not, we're gonna have to pull the coolant lines off. Pull these lines off. It's gonna be, yeah. I was trying to cheat, but I don't think it's gonna work. See all that crap in there? I don't know if you can see that or not. And that stuff in there? That is what we're trying to go out. Get out. Get rid of all that crap. Because what it's doing is it's putting all this crap into the intake of your engine. Well, we all know what it's doing anyway. But yeah, that's what it looks like. So we're going to clean all that up. Get a bit of petrol. Clean it all up. Make it look smick, hit it with a pressure cleaner. Happy days. That looks a lot better, doesn't it, hey? Oh yeah. The other thing I'm gonna do, which I know I'm gonna cop a lot of hate, a lot of flap, but I've done it to Kev, I did it to Brucey, I did it to two Hiluxes I've had. See those stupid little things in there? They're the butterflies. I'm gonna rip them out. I'm gonna rip them out, done it. To numerous amounts of vehicles now, so don't give me too much aid, people. That look a lot better, a lot more cleaner airflow. Now to get these out, what they do is, hang on, I'll get the other one and I'll show you real quick. Just real quick, I'll show you. Here's the other one. Pull the gasket off so I don't lose it real quick. Now they've got these little Phillips head screwdriver screws in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Anyway. So what they do is when they put them in there, they flatten that in, and you can't actually undo them. So you just gotta drill, I just drill the heads off them and then they push them out the wrong way. And they come out pretty easy. But what you probably could do is try and grind those ends off and just done screw them. I find just drill the heads off and then, um, yeah, they push it, push it out pretty easy. That's sort of what I do and it works well. So keyboard warriors out there, tell me what you really think about that idea, eh? Hey? It's getting ready to go back together now. We've cleaned the valley out. I've blown all the all in there out into your all your intake pipes and everything. I've cleaned all the EGR um, crossover pipe and everything out. That fucking pipe there. That one. I'm gonna leave the inner cooler. I'm gonna clean all the inner cooler out and flush it all out with um. I don't know yet because I want to try and get all that dirt and stuff out of it. And that's what I want to do. So, we've got the butterflies out of there. So what I'm gonna do is just throw these on a time lapse. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna talk much because it's pretty straightforward. Just reverse of what I did, pulling it apart, put it back together. And um, yeah, I'll just throw you on a time lapse and we'll just put the whole thing back together. I'll get the engine running and um, go from there. Happy days. <laughs>
But just a little quick tip, when you go to put the intercooler back on, there is a suction line just there that everybody forgets about. There's another one actually that runs down to the bottom that goes into the bottom of that housing there. Don't forget to put that suction line back on. Otherwise, it'll only get about 90 k's an hour or something. It does stuff all. There's a little sensor on the back of the inner cooler that it's got to plug into. Don't forget about it. Copy? Copy, copy. Subscribe to my channel, guys, and check out some of the other videos that I've got going on there. I've got a few Hiluxes and other things on there um, that I've done. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And let me know if you want me to do more cool videos like this in the comment section below. Copy? There. Or but there. Yeah. Go down, scroll down, let me know in the comments if you want me to do more of these cool videos. And I'm actually flipping it around every time I do that. I just re-watched that last video and I have no idea how I got so much crap on my face, hey? That's embarrassing. But anyway, guys, it's <laughs> not bad, thanks. together happy days i'm gonna duck inside have a quick scrub get all cleaned up rip back out here fire the big fella up and see what he sounds like see if see if i've missed any plugs see if he sends a code eh Yo. i'm gonna truth eh let's see if the big girl will go big girl i mean big fella who calls him wagner bloody girl's name oh 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 no engine lights, baby. Here, here, go. You know, no, you want to know a cheeky little secret? I actually already started it and discovered I left one of the um, the fuel lines off. The didn't do it. One of the rail lines and yeah, diesels everywhere under there. So I'm just going to back it out and go and wash it real quick. Here, copy. Righto, guys, we're all done. <laughs> Bonnet's closed. Time to pack out the tools. So just remember guys, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Also, if any of you guys are interested in uh, making a second stream of income online, hit me up. I'll show you how what's helping me um, pay that thing off. You.